President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos. The National ICT Summit this year could not have chosen a more relevant and timely theme toward a citizen centric, inclusive, and Let us be. The National ICT Summit this year could not have chosen a more relevant and timely theme toward a citizen-centric, inclusive, and sustainable e-governance ecosystem. Let us begin this day by taking stock of the serious challenge that these words pose, for it demands from us, public servants and IT professionals, a resolute commitment to put our talents and best energies at the service of the public good, leaving no one behind, giving preferential attention to the weakest and the most vulnerable among our people. Aware that we can do nothing by ourselves without the grace and guidance of the Creator, we pause for a moment to invoke God's presence among us. Dear good and loving Father, the past two years of the pandemic has forced us to come face to face with the fragility of life as we witness the passing away of colleagues, friends, and even members of our families. But you have willed for us to remain and to continue carrying out the mission you have entrusted to us. And so we raise our hearts to you in gratitude for the singular privilege. We know, Lord, that public service is not a walk in the park. It is hard work, competence, commitment, integrity, sacrifice. Especially now, as we struggle to rise from devastating blows of the COVID-19 pandemic, the global crisis and our own local realities particularly the natural calamities that come with greater frequency and intensity, have caused devastation to homes and infrastructures, to lives and livelihood, and caused tremendous miseries to the poor. As IT professionals and government, we recognize our responsibility to harness the power of technology and to make its benefits felt and tangible in the day-to-day -day experiences of our people. And so, as we begin this year's summit, we thank you, Lord, and invoke your blessing to help us recommit ourselves to the task of nation-building. Always remind us, Lord, that public service is a public trust for which we will be demanded full accountability. In these most precarious times, we ask you to journey with us and to lead us to the path that will bring our nation to the fullness of life that you. Amen. To formally begin our program, may we call on Information and Communications Technology Secretary, Attorney Ivan John Uy, to deliver his welcome remarks. Pleasant morning to everyone, um, Your Excellency, uh, the members and officers of the uh, CIO Forum and CIO Forum Foundation. Well, I'd like to just uh, open this uh, session with uh, uh, a greeting for all of you. Uh, this is a long overdue um, assembly that we are all together again. It's been a couple of years that uh, we've been constrained to just meet um, on screen. Um, and uh, indeed, it's a very refreshing uh, time where we can now, again, shake hands and um, fellowship together. And today, we have no less than um, the highest official of the land 
that is with us today. Um, uh, I can attest that uh, he is a fellow techie, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, he is a, indeed a champion of our, of our um, cause um, in causing digital transformation um, in the country and that this will be a, a very significant um, event uh, for all of us uh, as we start uh, our, our journey together in the next uh, six years. And um, we look forward to, to the next uh, couple of days as we embark on um, sharing information and sharing all the new things. Uh, I, we saw a lot of things out there. Um, in the exhibits, explore and see how we can all work together, harnessing the power of technology in bringing about um, uh, transformative and meaningful change for our country. And with that, uh, thank you and welcome everyone. Thank you, Secretary. Now, to give us a bird's eye view of the summit, May we call on the Chief Information Officers Forum Incorporated President and DBM Assistant Secretary, Clarito Alejandro Maximo. His Excellency Pre President Ferdinand Romaldus Marcos Jr., Chairman George Quintanar, President Cynthia Topacio, and members of the Board of Trustees of the CIOF Foundation. Fellow members of the Board of Trustees and members of the CIO Forum, here and online, our industry partners, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Each year, the Department of Information and Communications Technology, the CIO Forum, and the CIOF Foundation hold this NICT Summit as the culminating activity of the ICT month during the month of June. This year's summit, though, is held this month to give way to the start of this new administration and for us to have a feel of the general direction the President wishes to steer the whole of government. To everyone's delight, the National Information and Communications Technology Summit, which we now hold this 26th and 27th of October at the Manila Hotel, provides the venue for the country's information and communications sector to come together in unity to heed the call of the President in his first State of the Nation address last July 25, 2022, for the country's digital transformation. We heed the President's marching orders for the whole government to be transformed into an agile, transparent, accountable, and responsive bureaucracy, delivering to our countrymen their most urgent needs and improving their lives. Thus, in pursuance of, this president, of the President's vision, this NICT Summit has adopted as a fitting and timely theme toward a citizen-centric, inclusive, and sustainable e-governance ecosystem. Various facets of our e-governance ecosystem shall be touched in this upcoming plenary talks and panel discussions. We have our beloved DICT Secretary Ivan John Uy, who will give us a picture of the state of our Philippine e-government and how the entire ICT sector will move forward, the road ahead. This will put us all on the same page. The country's digital transformation will not be possible unless all of us in the industry, both public and private sector, move in the same direction. Standards, harmonization of efforts across government, streamlining of citizen-facing and administrative processes, data governance, upskilling of the digital workforce and the legislative framework. Thus, we shall hear from the undersecretaries of the DICT of their specific plans and programs and from our various industry partners from the private sector on their support and collaboration. We will also have a glimpse of the ICT regulatory outlook from the viewpoint of our lawmakers Senator Grace Po and Congressman Toby Chanko. And we shall cap this summit with a signed statement of support, collaboration, and commitment 
to the call of the president for government digitization, digitalization, and digital transformation. Nothing sums this up more than the words of Mr. Sabina Boitis in his opening speech at the New York Stock Exchange on September 19, 2022, with reference to our president, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. And I quote, this is why we work for him, because he listens to reason and gets things done, because he has the humility to seek the help of those who know more in order to provide help to those who need more. This is the kind of decisive, action-oriented leadership we have in our country today, Sabina Boitis concluded. And this is the kind of inclusive and collaborative leadership that will transform the Philippine economy into the next big thing in Asia. And borrowing the words of the late Ferdinand, the late President Ferdinand Edrilin Marcos Sr., this nation shall be great again. Salamat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you very much, Asset Johnson. At this point, to give due recognition to our awardees, may we request the President to lead us in the presentation of awards. He will be assisted by our stage party. First, this Outstanding Achievement Award is presented to Attorney Ivan John Uy of the Department of Information and Communications Technology in recognition of his continuing leadership in advancing the digitalization and modernization of government operations and processes. Congratulations, Secretary Uy. Second, this Outstanding Achievement Award is presented to Commissioner Lilia Guillermo of the Bureau of Internal Revenue in recognition of her continuing commitment, dedication, and leadership in the government's digital transformation efforts. Congratulations, Commissioner Guillermo. And finally, this Outstanding Achievement Award is presented to Mr. Henry Ruel R. Aguda of the Union Bank of the Philippines, League of PISAC Digital Infrastructure, in recognition of the transformational leadership he continues to demonstrate. He is represented by Mr. Jose Paulo Rufo of Union Bank. Congratulations, Mr. Aguda. Thank you, Mr. President. And again, congratulations to all of our awardees.